It's a cold, dark night here at my place. Out here in my garden, it's winter time. Now look, I want to show you something. Can you see the frost? I'm not sure if it's going to pick up the frost or not. Little tiny sparkles of diamond that it makes. Can you see any of that? See little bright flashes of light? Look at that elephant garlic. It's still sitting there. Why am I out here? Because it's the middle of winter and I'm kind of bored. Got stuff I want to do. I've got an idea. I want to have some fun. I'm going to take you along. <laughs> Hang on. Gardening is all about that green stuff, right? All about growing stuff that's green. There's a bunch of green stuff right here. You know what it is? It's tadpoles. Tadpoles going to grow up to be frogs. And some of them is going to be green. Let's bring some in the house and have a little fun. <laughs> well, that was a little rough, splashy ride for everybody. Especially uh, a little tadpole right there on the bottom. Now, we're inside the house now in the luxurious studio. You'll notice that uh, it's got the finest construction. We've got a little cardboard box action and some 100% uh, cotton plush terry cloth towel right here to make it something to where we can see. Um, <laughs> here's what we're doing. We're going to go do a little bit of a small time aquaponics action here. And we're going to use tadpoles to do it. You don't have to use tadpoles. If you want to use them, you get you some. Get you some of your own. These are mine. You can also use fish for this too. A little aquarium fish. If you would like to follow along with what I'm doing, what you're going to need is uh, a glass jar or an aquarium at your house. You're going to need a... Um, a little small aquarium pump uh, with an air stone and you know all the stuff to make a very very simple aquarium setup to keep your little aquatic friends alive um, box and the towel and and the neat little lights that you can get now those are optional that's just for studio use only now I brought in an awful lot of that salvinia and I'm gonna have to get that out clean this up a little bit and we'll go from there. I'll be back in a flash. Well, y'all, the clock's are ticking on me. That right there, what you're seeing in front of you, that's the setting sun. I'm going to have to run back up to the store, get something else. I'll be back at the house in a minute. All right, there's the flash I was telling you about. <laughs> okay. I have done gotten a little bit more livestock out there. And I've gone back up to the store. You know how that is. Anytime you're doing something, got to go back to the store two or three times to get everything. Look at all them little tadpoles down there. What we got right now is a mostly cleaned up tank. We got a little filter to see if we couldn't make this water a little bit more clear to see. Yeah. Look at them sitting there. We'll let it sit there and work for a little while, and then I'll get back with you. Tadpoles. And minnows. We had some minnows out there in the pond. Look at there. Look, look right there. Can I get him in here? Just saw that little guy wiggling around. Trying to get it to where it'll focus. It looks like a tiny little dragonfly larva. Not real sure what it is, dragonfly or a damselfly. Just thought I'd grab that real quick while, while it's, there we go. There we go. All kinds of stuff out there in the pond. Now it's in this tank. All right, welcome back. Well, for the sake of it not being a real long video tonight, 
And for the sake of this water, it's not going to clear up anytime soon for me to make this. We'll just go ahead and run here. What we've got in here is what may be a little bass minnow. It may be leftovers from some of the minnows that I put in here earlier. Um, the, everything in here came from my aquaponics tanks outside. Those tanks are going on three years old now, I think. Um, and so they're very much naturalized. I've got tadpoles and minnows and uh, natural snails out there, if I remember. Um, I might have put a snail in there in the very beginning. But everything that you can have in a natural pond, I've got out there in those tanks, those stock tanks. Now, for an aquaponic system, you need three things. You need aquatic life that's eating food and pooping. And you need bacteria to eat their poop and turn that into something that the plants can use. The, um, oh, I didn't even show you that. Yeah, the plant part, right? What I've got here is just one of my sweet potatoes. I have taken uh, one of the, one of the uh, stems and cut that to make a slip. And it's going to go down here float in a little boat here something very easy I just cut cut a little plus sign in there and push the stem through and that sweet potato uh, is going to start rooting out and it'll root in here it's going to get its nutrition but you've got to have the environment right um, you need the fish or the aquatic life and the gravel uh, gravel and places to hold harbor bacteria They'll eat the nitrates that the aquatic life uh, excrete and turn it into nitrates, which the plants will pull out of the water and feed themselves with. Um, it's, it's too much to talk about the complexity of an aquaponic system, but really it, it can be very simple. And I'm going to start this now, and we'll be following along with it as I go, and I hope that you want to do that. Something like this is something very easy for anyone that's got kids or just if you want to just do it yourself, no matter what age of a kid you are, all right? Here I am, halfway to being an old man, and I'm in here messing with an aquarium and all this, but that one plant is going to have some more in here. I'm going to be using this to start my cuttings or, or, some, or, or and, and to show y'all how you can do it, but... Get you an aquarium with your kids and do this, and you can have you some pets and plants action going on inside of the house. You can even have an herb garden or grow some of your own food in the house in something just as simple as a small aquarium. You know, maybe maybe a few herbs or something. It depends on how many gallons you want to have, how many how many uh, how many dollars you got in that account to put toward it. It doesn't have to cost much money though. And it's a lot of fun. And your kids can get to learn about wildlife right there in their house and the plants. Yep. Now, there's one of my friends on YouTube, and her name is Crystal. And she has a, uh, a channel called Crystal's Pets and Plants. She's got a lot of those to share with people. Look at the tadpole, right? And uh, so go check her out. There are lots of good aquarium care uh, channels. And um, lots of good aquaponics channels. Now, there's another one of my friends, and his name is The Cosmic Chariot. Um, he was an original member of Shed Wars last year, and this year he is going to be uh, joining us in Shed Wars again. And um, he has got his first indoor aquaponics setup starting up right now. So go find him and check out what he's doing. Now, there's another one of my friends that's in Shed Wars. She's down in Australia. Her name is Jandera. Now, Jandera is um, experienced in some aquaponics on a larger scale outside and maybe inside too. And she started up a beginner series of talking about the basics of uh, um, aquaponics. And going into some depth, uh, you should check her out if you'd like to learn about that. Lots of people are learning about aquaponics, and you can too. So check out Jandera. Um, 
now then, let's see, what else should I say? I think it's probably been long enough, but I promised you some fun. We're getting weird bringing a pond in here with all this. Y'all get ready. Somebody said, do I need to bring my drinks and my swim, uh, swimsuit? The answer is yes. You see that bag right there? That's, that's going to be y'all's dive suit. Hang on. Y'all going to go in here. Yeah, going to see the fishes. Just don't feed the fishes with yourself. Hang on. Let's go with take two. I touched the wrong thing. Things happened. Still not a good picture. And we'll drop you down in here. And see if y'all can see anything. Let's look around. Can y'all see anything? Can you hear me? Oh, let's see. There's something there. There's some tadpoles. There's a few tadpoles in there. <laughs> My phone is playing all kinds of all kinds of crazy. Well, I guess that's going to be a a no for right now for for real quality dive action in uh, the uh, aquaponics tank. I guess we'll have to leave that alone. Now let me see if I can get y'all out of my phone, out of my bag here. Woo! There you go. We'll work on that. How about that? I'll bring you some clearer action later. I guess for tonight, all this fun, weird action, we're going to say goodbye. And now you'll know some of the stuff that I'm working on for later. I hope all of y'all will have a great day and do some of this. Follow along with what I'm doing and some other people and learn about some different ways to grow your own food. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.